Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Backrooms Podcast, currently on floor 932, where we spawned in a house this time. It's a little weird. It's like the rolling hills of uh, of an old... Uh, of the old uh, screen on Windows, and it's just all the same houses. The same thing. The same thing. It's crazy over and over and over again. So crazy. <laughs> so with me, my guest today is Ghost. And if oh, you don't, wow. and if you don't know who Ghost is, um, she was on not only one podcast episode, but we had a uh, an actual video together. Yeah, <laughs> bring it, bring it closer, bring it closer. We had, we had. Bring the mic closer. The stand can move. We had a really good. Did <laughs> you move it? Stop, stop. Um, I'm fine. I was fine. <laughs> so, uh, me and Ghost have had uh, a wonderful idea, like a while ago, about talking about a lot of stuff, relationships. Yeah, relationships these days are crazy. Yeah, relationships these days are kind of are kind of toxic to a certain point, not going to lie. Kind of? Kind of very toxic. Uh today we don't have Alex, so it's just me and Ghost. Oh, wow. And uh <laughs> uh but before we get into the topic like how you been? <laughs> I've been good. Yeah. I've been okay. I had an eventful day today. I went to the dentist. He drugged me. Yeah, dentist drugs be like top tier. Top, <laughs> top of the shelf. Top of the shelf. Yeah, you know it is. Are you still feeling it or no? It's wearing off. Is it wearing off? It's it's not as bad. I had to pick you up, and that was like that was a treat. To be fair, that wasn't the most drugged you ever been. It has not been. No. No, because like I think the last time I picked you up, like picked you up after a whole dentist appointment. You, it was like you were drunk. Like, that's how high well, you were. I react to Novocaine in a, a certain particular way. <laughs> in a very particular fun way. Yeah, it, to me, it's just, my metabolism crazy. I, I get more than I need half the time. And because I don't normally eat, I didn't know this until today. If you don't eat anything when you're going to the dentist and you know you're going to get, like, a cavity or a root canal done, they need to drug you up more because you have nothing on your system like nothing in your body to like go through so because you're empty like if you accidentally fast like if you just have breakfast and you go like midday yeah. around like two or three um you haven't eaten anything since breakfast typically mm -hmm. so like there's nothing in your gut to like metabolize so it's your body's just gonna oh, metabolize is that is that how novocaine like works it has yeah, to be like, metabolized through meta the like bloodstream or whatever pretty much like you you gotta work through it and i have apparently a high metabolism when it comes to novocaine <laughs> but it's like i was like it was wearing off where i could feel it but i was still numb so every time they did the little more it was like yeah, it would work, but like, dang, my face they, is getting like, puffy. Don't, like, don't they have to give you, didn't, I think the last time I went and picked you up, you had to, like, you, they, <laughs> they could only give you, like, so much legally? Yeah. Was, I, it, was that the case? I could not do, they said legally I could not exceed, like, 10, and I was at 8. Oh my god, I didn't I, know that. I metabolize it pretty fast when i have nothing on like, today my you tummy. ate so like they I only had, had to use breakfast. four well and yeah but like you also had but it was like an early day two what? i had breakfast i want to say i had breakfast at uh two no I <laughs> <laughs> if i'm being fair i bought my breakfast like around 9 30 ish yeah so it it was a, it was a bit okay. like i went through it pretty quick mm-hmm so, yeah. I always hated the nonsense. But how was how was uh how was your day? My day was pretty good. Um, I'm actually uh currently editing the next portion of uh Mario Strikers Charged right now. Oh. Um, and when that is fully done, it's man. I I actually am thinking right now. I don't know if I'll make it one 
video it might be two mm -hmm. but um that's only because the portion that i have chopped up right now is spoiler alert uh is past the crystal cup yeah. which is like the midway point of like the game mm -hmm. and um it's already at like 17 minutes with me just chopping up like what i want for, like before i even like put in edits oh cool and whatnot so wait that's oh that's gonna be a while you know like straight to 17 minutes but to be fair like my editing style isn't a lot like isn't like high end to be fair it's very like meme -y to a certain point as well so what come on you can tell me you want your game trail on this podcast don't worry well i do i just didn't want to yeah just don't put it in the mic when you open it and then it's all of a sudden it's like <laughs> get some asmr Mm. Mm -hmm. yum 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 um so yeah i do have a lot of like stuff that i'll just like weave in for whatever um i kind of do like that like i'm not in the style anymore of like using music like background music for like games where it already has background music to to a point you know mm -hmm. um because i did that with like slay the spire when I was doing like my like my two videos of just Slay the Spire a long ass time ago. Oh. I say that it was like a year ago. And um or is it on the channel? Uh, two years ago. Yeah it is. And like the thing is when it comes to that before like I figured out how to record with like not only two different mics, but as well as um how to like separate it after the recording where it's like the desktop audio, the game audio, the mic audio. Mm -hmm. Um, I would have to literally fight like the games I was playing. I had to make sure that the noise was down, so that if I was going to like oh. add music after, like it wouldn't be fighting with the music. And because I would also be on the same track where the music was. I see. Yeah, it was very, it was very annoying. Very uh, early, complicated. early. Nah, it wasn't. I mean, it was complicated to work around. Yeah, it was complicated. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, it wasn't complicated, like, in general. It was just, like, it was weird. It was, okay, it was complicated. Fuck yeah, you. Yeah, see, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, you're easy to read. It was complicated. No, it was just, it was annoying, I guess. It's okay. Okay, well. <laughs> it's okay to say it's complicated. That just means... You know, good things take time. Quality things take time. Oh my god, you would have. I literally go back to like <laughs> a few months ago, of like the, the podcast episode after last, where it was like me and Alex. Yeah. And we shared like the, literally the mic that you were using. Oh, we yeah. shared it. That that was hard because you're a loud person. Well, no, it's that isn't the hard part. <laughs> no, literally, that's not the hard part because Alex would just, it would, the mic would be open on all sides. Oh. So Alex would be like where you're sitting, and then I would just speak be on the other side, speak through it, like literally right here, and it would pick me up. <laughs> but the thing is, it was like it also sounded like we were both far away because we had it literally in the middle well, of us. We're in the back rooms. Everything has an echo. Well, even when it's wide open. Man, I never thought that the back rooms could be talked about unless it was the beginning and the end of an episode. I didn't think I would <laughs> have to talk about it in the middle. <laughs> it is echoey. It is echoey in this very, little place. Very, Actually, very echoey. I just lied. No, we, me and Alex joke about the, <laughs> the, the, the back rooms every single fucking episode. Oh, did I break a rule by talking about it? No, you didn't break it? any rule. It was just, it hasn't happened in a First while. Rule but then about the back rooms. Don't, don't talk, talk about, about the, the back, back rooms. rooms. Midway through. Second rule about the back rooms. <laughs> Never talk about the back rooms. Uh, if you talk about the back rooms anymore, then like it spreads and like that's not good. It's complicated. Yeah. No, it is also complicated. Relationships. Yeah, relationships. Yeah, let's talk about relationships. I like the early the Y2K era of relationships where it's like guy the Y2K era what? yeah like the early 2000s yeah explain yourself it's it's like the era of like guy always trying to get girl but girl being like I'm better than that 
I like that little cat and mouse game, but not like where it becomes into like, I'm gonna assault you. That's weird. Whoa, what? Yeah, you, you never like cat calling, like it's really looked frowned upon now, but like was such a part of like dating culture back then. I think when my dad was trying to date my mom oh, in the two thousands, it was it was very much like that. Like cat calling was like, How else are you gonna know someone likes you? Because phones weren't like a big thing. Yeah. But you know. I, I kinda like it. But there's the downsides to it. It's my favorite, favorite generation. What, like cat calling? Like, well, I think the effort put in is my favorite. Of the cat calling? The effort put in to get in someone. I feel like people lose that sense of, like, keeping a person. It's like, once you've mm. got them, you lose that sense of trying to keep them. Not saying that it shouldn't work both ways, but a lot of people forget that. If you got me acting a certain way, and then you go on by like, oh, you got me now. You're acting completely different. What happened to the guy that was trying to woo me? I like mm-hmm. that that era of wooing. Yeah, uh, I can do this, and I can do that, and we can do this, and we can do that. And then it's like, unfortunately, that magically stops once the person. And it's like I don't want that. Hmm. Like in the beginning, it was more for just like the booty and like anything, oh, and then definitely. and then and then they kind of had to hard sell like, no, I'm not just in it for I'm just, not in that. just for that. And then like, I'm in it for more. I'm in it for us. And then it's like, it doesn't be really go anywhere. Me. Be about me. Be about us. What we gonna be? Oh man, Mo- demonetized, <laughs> copyrighted instantly. What a what a perfect rendition. Oops. 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 <laughs> Oops! All music. But like that's 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 what I like. But like about old dating. Dating now is nothing like that. But like that's why it also didn't like work because you would you would then have like those people that like would get together because of catcalling. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you like oh I'm pregnant. Yeah. And it's like well during that time it's not like now where it's just like well fucking. Get re- like, you are we really ready for a baby or are we not? Bye. No. <laughs> but also, but also during that time, it was like it was really thought like, no, like we could have a kid, and like it's not, it's not gonna be that. It's like, not it's, gonna be the end of the world. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be breaking the bank, unlike now, where it's oh like, oh my god, don't even get me started. Literally nowadays, like for people, like for my sister's generation, and like after that, like hours like and whatnot. She's okay. a millennial. Oh, technically, because like, millennials now are like unless thirty. Unless you go like somewhere where like it's cheaper to be like we are in but, the tri-state area. But even then, hard. but even then, like having a family, like everything goes up when you when you have a child. Yeah, you know, like like <laughs> like we we we've talked about this a lot. Where it's like it's not even the car situation. Yes, the car situation. The car situation, the living situation. The car after a certain amount of kids, got to No, not well, I mean after a certain amount of kids, yeah, but even after one kid, it's like well you can't just have like a car car now. Got to have like a SUV. You have to have an SUV. You have to have something that not only is going to like god forbid like protect our children if anything were to happen and us. But also carry a lot. But carry a lot like be good on mileage yeah right like when our kids get older like i don't even are we gonna have like a like a honda accord like taking us from point a to point b i don't even think the generation of today is even looking towards like kids because it's well the generation expensive one and two like i don't even think a lot of them can get out of the talking stage well but but that's the that's also the cool thing about this generation of today is like they don't want to get out of the talking stage because they want to find, like, the one. Yeah. You know? But, like, that's kind of the hard thing is, like... You gotta go through trial and error. Yeah. Like, you gotta... You you, you, <laughs> you gotta pick yourself up from the ground before you can really, oh, like, gosh, you know, you make those old. decisions. You sound old. I mean, n- not necessarily... I'm not telling you to, like, fucking, you know, you should have a... You, you, <laughs> you should yeah, have like your whole life together. You should have a five year game plan, five like year game when plan, you're 20. Put some money away for when you find the one for a ring. That sounds so old. No, it, because, well, people... that is, well, I'm just talking about like finding, like finding a person now is still like they're like is still like an old thing, but mm-hmm. how you then have a family, get a house, get a car, like 
it's completely different now than what it was i mean not even 20 years ago like 10 years ago yeah you know it's completely different yeah you know i think like i have a friend who no like an actual friend um yeah (laughs) that is what that is one thing ghost is very it's very hard for her to like not keep a friend but get a friend yeah i have a friend yeah uh she's also part of the unliving crew and the unliving okay yeah the unliving crew um we're over over you life people Mm -hmm. but um she she's dealing with a lot right now um i think her situation um is very complicated when it comes to dating because she's 21 and she's just out there in the world and you know being 21 is such a fun time i'm 25 and she's just you know living her life up because she's she coming of age post covid yeah. whereas like i came up came of age pre-covid yeah and post-covid it's like everyone's living their best life because what if that happens again what if something like that occurs it's hard but she's also trying to like make the situationship that she has going on more than what it is how hold on situationship now that that's where i i kind of like the situation what is this situationship i kind of hate that is complicated like she has this guy she how close to it is it to a friends with benefits oh it is a friends with benefits oh i hate this so much friends with benefits but it it's she's she's like they've talked about it they're like oh we want to be more for each other want to do more for each other okay both seeing other people and it's like oh, my man. face my face is pure fury right now yeah because it's like man to be young to, like that's just just a young leave your relationships and thinking. get together yeah like i don't i don't know why it's like hard to settle down now like the fun doesn't have to stop because i feel like a lot of people think that the fun stops with I, their with their parent like seeing their parents right and yeah, being they get like together and everything stops like you don't go out you but not but together, not only that but like they see they, they see their they see their parents as like not the end all be all but like what could happen yeah. you know in a relationship where it's like because like some marriages are not the best for either person. They're not. There right? are a lot of marriages out there that just And like and Oops. and because like a lot like a lot of like the marriages that are like my my mom and dad's age and a little bit older are very much like they were a situation ship that had to grow up faster to then get married because I like I said before Well no but like I said before like oh pregnant but it, it isn't like today where it's like well I mean, if something were to happen with me and my significant other, I would put down money. Hasta la bye bye. And like, if we weren't ready, you know, like it, it, the, nowadays, it's not about like, oh, but having a child changes you. It's so good. This and blah blah blah. Like, if you I don't mean, have having a child does change. It, it you. does. It but does like, change you. If you don't have the money, yeah. And if like even working two, three jobs for like between two people doesn't even cover cover the two people living how are you going to then bring a small doughy thing that like if anything touches it it immediately is like it's a problem (laughs) i I (laughs) that also needs constant care and you know it's i i don't know like who are we to talk about marriage if neither of us are don't say that don't (laughs) because well it's not about just because we're not married doesn't mean that like we haven't seen like the good and the bad of it oh definitely you can see the good and the bad in any relationship without you know being in that relationship and you don't have to be abused to know abuse and then as well as you don't like to be fair like you learn from your surroundings like yeah we haven't been in a marriage but like to be fair we're trying to find or be the best people that we can be for then a marriage, like a good marriage to occur. 
well, yeah. you know, a good relationship with, like, but I don't others. Know. I, I want to steer past the realm of marriage only because it's, like, an unexplored topic for me. And and talk on what I do know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> only yeah. because it's, like, it's easy for me to look back and go through, like, past relationships and and definitely see some toxicity that existed in my well, life because that I thought was normal. Because you've, you've had a few relationships. Meanwhile, I've, I've only had, like, three or four. You say a few. I've had. You've had a, like I mean a few, not like a lot, but like you've you've been uh, with had, a few for this few peeps. I've had. Yeah, I've been in technically three relationships, and I've been with. I'm not gonna say my baby. Cat, and then and then and then you've had some situations. Yeah, I've had some situationships, but I knew that they were situationships. Maybe that's just like me and knowing. We should be talking about like. And knowing what my boundaries are with yeah. people, like I know what I want and what I don't want up front. I'm a very upfront type of person when it comes yeah. to that. Like I like think a lot of people. Me, I think yeah. when we first met, I was very much like, not maybe maybe not when we first met, but like when we first got like know each other, I was very like, I'm very straightforward. I like honesty. I hate liars. Yeah, like those. Like if you know me in real life like you you would know that about me like, yeah i don't like and that. why we clicked is because i'm the most honest motherfucker ever <laughs> <laughs> who, doesn't lie. who doesn't lie ever <laughs> i only i only lie if it's like a, like truly like a joke or if it's like a celebration you know like a white lie and it doesn't yeah you know it doesn't it doesn't matter in the whole scheme of like the relationship other than like you know it builds upon it in a good way yeah yeah i can see that I get that. But like, um oh, fuck. when when it comes to relationships now, like I think that's why like a lot of people want to stay in the talking stage because they want to know like who this person is. Yeah, but I know? feel like that's the realm of dating when you want to know more about a person or if it is just a friends with Benny type of thing and you just want to genuinely know more about a person that you're you're sleeping with um to get to know them that way just so you know like we're all being safe in the situation like you don't want an unsafe situation where it's like well you don't know everything about me and i don't know everything about you and someone gets hurt in in that whole ordeal which is not mm -hmm. fair or fun fun or fair um in that regard mm -hmm. but uh <laughs> i i i really i want to say bad? it and i don't want to say what i wanted to say I mean, you could say it. I'll cut it out if it's like weird. I, I, I wish Andrew Tate was never a thing. That's not weird. I, I believe Andrew Tate shouldn't be a thing at all. Like, he literally I wish put. He, wasn't he literally so put. Popular. He literally put a fucking poll out, like some some time either recently or in like a year or so, where it was like, what would you guys rather have? Like a really awesome like girlfriend who like is is gonna give you like bomb ass sex or um would you rather have like what was it like 10 million dollars or something like that or yeah, or would you rather like work on ultimatum. on or would you rather work like on yourself no it wasn't ultimatum it was like a choose a or choose b it was and, an ultimatum it was and, a personal ultimatum of like you couldn't have both you couldn't have the life you wanted and and some no, really awesome no. This shit. is something completely different because it's so it's so fucking stupid. But most because of at the end like, of it, because do you want a woman who's gonna give you the best sex you ever had, or do you want a wife? And it's like, no, he didn't even say that. He didn't even say a wife. It literally was like, do you want like you said before? Do you want a woman who's gonna like give you bomb ass sex or whatever, or do you want like to talk with me for an hour? And like the poll, and it was a poll, and sixty percent of 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 guys of people or whoever chose him and the other 40 were like i want like See, i want a girlfriend or whatever but here childish. but then but then here's but th that's not even the most childish part of this then he comes <laughs> it's so stupid that he comes out and he's like the 60 percent of the guys who want to speak to me you guys are gonna get like the most like you're, you're gonna get the wisdom this and that blah, blah blah the 40 who chose a girl it looks like you don't want to work on yourself you don't need me this and that blah blah, blah. you guys are gay that doesn't make any sense why would you want to talk to a guy 
Why, why would you want to talk to a guy more than sleeping and having amazing cuddlingus with someone? I'm sorry. It's like I'm sorry that that makes no. He's sense. like you guys aren't alphas. Blah blah blah. That you don't understand. No that makes no sense. None. I also hate the whole alpha. Oh my god, I hate beta it. Shit. I hate. I think that was how, like, how I how I've heard it. Hate and I think all of those conspiracy theories was the main reason why I deleted TikTok because like I could not. I could not just fathom life like that yeah being like force-fed garbage oh yeah and i'm not some like elitist purist when it comes to like the things i watch on the internet because i because it is it is coco melon yeah it very much is coco melon <laughs> and bluey 24 7 but well, bluey like, to be fair bluey is the better of the two in that regard <laughs> bluey is the best the best of the two i digress i i don't think i don't think i like that but i feel like andrew tate like downgraded the whole dating pool of today with this whole idea of I want this as like my my ultimate prize and then everyone that I see nowadays is not my ultimate prize it's like the average person you meet could be attractive but you're not giving them the chance or the time of day because you have this idea you want to be an alpha male like yeah you want to have this idea or notion that you have to be an alpha male and pull like a fucking supermodel. Yeah, like that doesn't make sense. But then, but then not. But yeah, you you want to be an alpha male and pull a supermodel, but like you want to work on yourself. Yeah, yeah like, and not care about it. I mean, you can work on yourself and want to date who you want to date. Like that's fine. But I think everyone has this like toxic way of looking at themselves. When I think everyone's beautiful, and then and everyone's human. Like if people were to really open up and see people for who they are and what they are instead of playing these mind games of well i'm better than that or i i deserve more than that and if you have someone you want to talk to you should mm -hmm. give them that time give them your time like yeah. trust in their time and they'll give you your time and everything would work out for the better and but, if they don't and if they them, don't they don't like that's find someone else unfortunate like it's unfortunate because everybody should be with the person that they want to be with yeah not forcefully because consent is awesome but consent like, is al always awesome <laughs> but be with your ideal person and accept them for being human because no yeah. one can live up to an idealistic standard well no one can be perfect yeah like yeah your dream girl shouldn't be having to live up to your dream girl standard yeah because she's human and not yeah. a fantasy that uh, but i think a, a lot of what a lot of people why it's so hard to like date now is because a lot of people are like scared of like failure you know and it is and it, and like to be scared of failure is okay like here and there especially when it comes to making like hard decisions you know because there are certain things where it's like you don't know if something's going to you know work out the way it's going to work out or whatever and there are only like so many people who can like take that leap or jump or whatever or have like those opportunities but like when it comes to a relationship hey some of them are meant for lessons and that and whether that is a friendship an actual relationship or whatever like some like some people are meant to like teach you about either yourself or about you know other people around you and whatnot and like it's not it's always fine to fall if you can pick yourself back up again you know right no i get i get that i i wish i wish it was less mind gamey and more straightforwardness but maybe that's just me because i feel but like how is that but how find, is that different you can still find that out there but how is that different now than versus what you were talking about with the with the whole cat like cat calling and stuff oh, because that well, is a mind game in itself <laughs> cat calling is a mind game within itself i feel like cat calling is like cat calling then is what catfishing is now <laughs> <laughs> like there's like just on an emotional level versus like a physical level like you know cat calling is like Oh, I, I have this. I have that going on. You're so awesome. You're so pretty. I want to get at you. And catfishing is like, look at me. I look so great. And I think you're attractive. And mm -hmm. then it's like, I'm putting on this facade of 
what I want you to think I look like or think I am. And it's yeah. it's not it's not that at all. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people today get catfished in that regard when it comes to dating around well with the advent of the internet like it that kind of oh, yeah, swelled that, up into that that does play a, a, a separate issue into that mm-hmm. but i think if people just realize that we're all human <laughs> i'm gonna keep going back to it because it's like I don't know who needs to hear it out there, but if you just accept who you are for who you are, and you're, no one's going to be perfect. Like the, n- no one's expecting you to be perfect. And those who are just haven't lived long enough, unfortunately. Well, that, like, but that all comes down to, like, I would say familial relationships and growing yeah. up. You know, it's not, it's not as simple as, like, oh, I decided not to be who I am because... I made that decision, you know. Yeah, you you live and you learn, and and hurt people hurt people. Yeah. Even good people are great at making bad decisions. I heard that too from someone crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't even think if I were to like start dating again, if I would want to, because everyone's just trying to fuck. Same. Everyone's just trying to Well, fuck. if you're trying to fuck, you're trying to fuck. And I'm glad that at least people are, like, being open about that. But yeah, like, some are. When it, but when it comes to... Well, I would say most. I think, a lot of, I think a lot of people are trying to... No, truly. I think a lot of people are trying to escape, like, the actual reality of reality. Yeah. Or at least, like, in America, where it very much is... Mm. <laughs> to say the least yeah. uh when it comes to like financial uh financial situations and financial freedom as yeah. well um i don't know i'm but also like uh, i think people just want to people i i heard this i can't from club. a boomer and it's very and it's very true when it comes to like young people now like millennials and like after mm-hmm. where it's like young people now want don't want like the freedom later on where after they put in the time and hours and the grueling like you know like marching of like going to work every single day after like 40 like 30 to like 45 50 years you know to then be able to like have the freedom of doing whatever they want it now. They want to feel young now and like yeah. have the freedoms now and like then buckle in for when they need to like buckle in. And I think that Yeah, which is why like your your early twenties are probably the best time to do that. You're you're in a you're <laughs> it's essentially like you're a teenager with adult money. Like Yeah. Like you, you make adult money and you now have the yeah. freedom to drink and drive. Don't drink and drive, but you have the freedom to <laughs> to drink and drive. Man, and this alcohol I I drive better when I'm drunk. You know that. <laughs> drink, drive, and have fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish three shots of my fireball and Maybe take I you home and be phrase better. Phrase that differently. Have fun, <laughs> drive and drink. <laughs> <laughs> But remember, like, kid. Party, remember, kids. Remember, and, kids. And go on drink adventures. your drugs. Don't do milk. <laughs> Stay in school. <laughs> like adventuring is fun and clubbing. Like, okay, I can't. Like my friend, she goes to the club. Oh man, I... all the time. Friday, Saturday, sometimes Sunday, and she'll come into work. And she's like, oh, exhausted, and it's crazy. Yeah, you were talking about catfishing before, and like I do gotta say, like. What you were talking about before was what I I said, where it's like now because of the internet there's like f- there's like physical catfishing, mm-hmm. where like people lie about like their height or their weight or like how they look, yeah, I'm, whatever. I'm five four, and then you know an inch with like Jordans, so like I'm really five five, but you know that's like halfway to being six feet tall, so like I'm really like <laughs> five eleven. But you know, because I'm wearing shoes, I'm really like six feet. So like, I'm I went from five I'm, foot hey, to six feet. Hey, I'm six foot, six foot four on a good day. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but like now, going back to what you said, like clubbing, right? It's very, it's very hard to, it's very hard not to 
it's very hard to lie about what you look like, right? When mm-hmm. like you have like you, the lights fucking flickering on and off and everyone's dancing, whatnot. Unless you're in a fucking dark ass club, which most are. Yeah. Um, but like, there is, I feel, this thing of like emotional catfishing yeah. that kind of led to what you were talking about catcalling, where it's like, no, I like you for like this reason like and not bombing you know love you're bombing? so pretty you're awesome you're so pretty i love oh, you I, well, oh well i God. guess i that, can't believe you're talking to me you're so amazing that could i mean that could be like one reason but that person could actually mean that it's just like to be fair they're they're being a gentleman and not like just being like i want to fuck you know what i mean <laughs> it's crazy how some would say the the whole love bombing spiel and still be like, yo, I would love to tap that. Like, I would so love to be all up in that. <laughs> but it's like... I love you. I love you so much. I love you so much. I want you to wake up with me. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, it's an issue. You it was love bombing? No, like, the, oop, the, the double standard to like... Well, not the double standard. Just like the double-sided coin of one side being like, oh, I'm going to show you how lovey-dovey and safe space I can be, and then the other side being like, but once I get you, I'm going to f*** you, and that's it. That's it. Oh. You mean, like, the on-off switch of, like, I care so much about you. Yeah. And then fuck, and then, like, leave you. Like, what? No, we had such a great time. I would love to do that again. And then they ghost you. Mm -hmm. (sighs) Mm-hmm. I don't know if, to be fair, I don't know if a lot of people are doing that now. That might have been, like, Pre-coded. Later generations, like like actual millennials. Here's here's the thing: we're not millennials. Nope. Are we technically Gen nope. Alpha? I think we're Gen Gen Z. I think so. We're not millennials. What's Pokemon X, that? Y, and Gen Z. We're we're, <laughs> we're somewhere after millennials. I don't know where, but we're there. We're we're somewhere. We're somewhere. We're after millennials. Yeah. So, like, um, <laughs> what comes after millennials? I forget. I don't know, I, and that, I don't that, care. That, that I hate that. Keeps changing. I hate that. I'm I, not. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm the so whole, confused. the whole generational like names and shit feel like zodiac signs, and oh like I God. fucking and I hate it so much. You same, same it? with like, al- same oh with alpha gosh. males, beta males, and shit. Oh, I that's literally, so stupid. I literally like, think like that is the zodiac signs for guys. The zodiac sign for guys, where it's like girls, it's like, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm a Pisces. <laughs> I'm I'm an Aries, and it's like that's fine. It shouldn't rule your whole life, but if it mm-hmm. does, you know that's fine. But like, I'm a Scorpio, and when people are like, oh, "You're a Scorpio," <laughs> yeah, no, I I do the whole like when 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 I bring up like zodiac signs and whatnot with like new people, they're like, "You know zodiac signs?" And I was like, and I'm just like immediately like. My rising is Pisces, and... <laughs> no, I'm like, I guess my zodiac sign. <laughs> and they're like, Pisces? And like, I'm born March 13th, and yeah, I am. And I'm like, nope. And they're like, what, what? And I'm like, Taurus. And they're like, oh my god, <laughs> I totally... Do, no, 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 no. And I'm like, yeah, you want to something funny? <laughs> I'm really Pisces. I'm, uh, March 13th, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I'm you a, thought... If we're going to get into the whole zodiac thing, I am a cusp, which I didn't know was such a problem. Until like I got into my current job, but there's like fucking there, there are people. Who but there's like, like moon signs that go with it that like yeah, also the, determine other the shit. Rising and and something else, like it's a whole thing. There's star charts, and I'm like, if you're, we could I have can't. a whole we could have a whole podcast episode about that. Uh, <laughs> a whole me and you, just a whole podcast. Episode I mean, that's about. fine. I, I would I would be down to rant about the people bashing on my zodiac sign because I have nothing better to do. With my life. Because I definitely do feel like we both are like, yeah, our zodiac signs are this, but... I mean... Like, that's it. It doesn't, like, take control of my life. And, like, I stabbed someone because I'm a Pisces. Because, like, I'm really in my feelings. <laughs> like, in type retrograde, bullshit. I'm just going to be a bitch now. <laughs> Look, my moon is part of a fire sign, so, like, oh yeah. My God. So, everyone at my job is really into, like, their star sign oh and their star <laughs> chart and everything. Of course they are. And I'm not. And it's, like really really a bothersome for me yeah because i am a, sp- a scorpio and apparently that's like the devil's eye but it's, i feel like we're the most honest sign i think ever. Can- not cancer i think uh i think virgos are 
I feel like Virgos to, are yeah. evil. Yeah, if a, <laughs> if, if a streetcar named Desire has taught me anything, it's never trust a Virgo. Never trust that bitch. No, never trust um... that. <laughs> <laughs> what was her name? I'm I, forgetting. I forget. I think that my zodiac sign should not dictate who I date. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm I'm so sure. I think my zodiac sign should, you know, be a little nuanced to like my whole dating style, not necessarily the end all be all. Oh, mm-hmm. she, he cheated on me because he was a Sagittarius or oh, she he ghosted me because he was an Aquarius. That's such an Aquarius thing to do though. All the Aquarius out there, fuck you. Um <laughs> <laughs> But like the 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 next time I hear someone say, "Oh, Scorpio, just fucking freaky," they're they're so gut in bed. You're with a you're with a Scorpio. You're a Scorpio. But they are gut in bed. Uh debatable. I <laughs> I feel like I do the bare minimum in bed. <laughs> um, I digress. But I don't think zodiac signs should enter. Neither should alpha male, omegas, betas. The whole yeah. Greek alphabet. Don't think they should be a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I think because I I will say that when, when when it comes to both things, it really makes masculine and feminine people very toxic. Uh in their own like spheres of of uh, communities, I feel, you know. Yeah, like I feel like there are it's their own thing. It's yeah. like their little niche, their little niche and, and stuff. Because it's like you there have are the people who date specifically based. There are some dating apps specifically for zodiac signs. So, oh my god! And then you have the kinky ones that are like, are you a dominant, a submissive, or a? Switch? And that's the one I'm. I want to be a part of. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have the ones that are like football sports like what's your thing let's let's meet up at a game that that there's a dating app for everyone out there there is a dating app for everyone else out there but like and that's we're sponsored by but no 